bragging about Cleveland's one of my things, Greg Palumbo, and I gotta tell you something, when I brag about Cleveland, it used to be like University Circle, the Art Museum, the Rockwell Hall of Fame, where the Guardians play, where the Browns play. But people drive all around this Soldiers and Sailors Monument right here at Public Square, and they don't know what it is sometimes. Why is that? Absolutely. Uh, you know, people drive by all the time, and you, you get used to it. You yeah. Know? You get used to seeing it, and you don't realize that there's so much more to it, and you don't realize all of the detail that's been put into this thing. So we put out flags and we try and get people to, to take that walk around and come in. It is remarkable when you come inside. Where does this take us back to and how did this thing get built? Yeah, 1894 and, and really it goes back even farther to 1888. So the veterans of the Civil War uh, get together in what's called the Grand Army of the Republic. That's uh, you know the VFW Hall of, yes. of the 1880s. Uh, so they get together and they decide they're going in Bedford uh, and decide that they're going to build a monument, build a monument of some sort. There's two big styles during the time. There's the shaft with statuary around the base, and there's the memorial room with statuary inside and listing names on the wall. That kind of thing. They have a vote, they vote 50-50. It's a dead split. They can't decide. They go both. They go both. So Levi Schofield, Levi T. Schofield is the architect and sculptor. He he says, I can do both. I can bring those two styles together. So we get a supremely unique monument where we have both those major styles together. And here's what I love about it. You go around the outside and you see each, each corner has its own monument, a different thing. But when you step inside, and if you've never done that before, you can do this all summer long yeah. for free. For free, 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Uh, every day of the week during the summer. And most of the days of the week during the winter. And when you step inside, it really takes you on a trip. Like right now we're standing in front of Abraham Lincoln, and there's a lot of great things about that, stories to tell here. I mean, I, I mean it must be Robert E. Lee right there. Well, no, it's not actually. That's See, I'm getting a lesson. Yeah, that is Sherman. Uh, so the boss. The, the boss, this, this is the end of the war. It's called the Peacemakers. Uh, they're trying to decide on how they're gonna wrap up the war. Sherman has just marched his way through the South, burning Atlanta, marching his way to the sea. Uh, he's total war. He wants to then take his army and march north, splitting the South in the half again to... So this guy, he can go on all day like I this. I can. It's, it's just unbelievable. So they're gonna have an argument about that, and that's See? where this is. It's, it's City Point, Virginia, yeah. uh, where General Grant here, who would become president. He has an encampment. Lincoln comes up to his camp okay. to have this conversation. Okay, I get it, I, I get it. See, each one is a long story because you go around the corner, you see uh, a tribute to the slaves being freed. Correct. And then what's on the next side when you go around? We have the Ohio perspective. So we have our three Ohio governors. The Ohio had two year terms at the time. So we have three governors as well as uh, generals that were over Ohio troops, including two Ohioans that would become president in Garfield and Hayes. And if you're not into the history of this, I mean, you have to come in here just for the architecture of it and the art. I mean, just the windows each tell a story too. They do. So we were talking about those statues around the outside. Uh, they're depicting different aspects of the military. So you have the Navy, the artillery, the infantry and the cavalry, and they're showing the progression of the war as they go around. On the inside, you see these beautiful windows that for a long time we thought were Tiffany. Uh, the, it's actually a local artist uh, named Wells, whose uh, studio was right down the street in the old arcade. Eat your heart out, Louis Tiffany. That's right. Uh, so these beautiful windows are depicting what's going on on the outside of the wall. So they're showing the different instruments of those different branches of the military. There's such a heavy duty, deep story behind each and every corner of this place. It, there really is. I mean, the Schofield put detail into every little aspect he could, even down to the bolts that hold on the signs on the outside of the building. Um, they're showing the badges of the Loyal Legion, which is the officers veterans group and the GAR um, lapel badges. The Grand Army of the Republic. Grand Army of the Republic. I got one right, how about that? Hey, so you can get one right, you can learn, you can see a whole bunch of stuff here. Greg is here all the time. It's free all summer long. What are the hours? 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. A Cleveland treasure, man. Thank you very much for taking care of it. Absolutely. Great to see you, man. Thanks for coming in.